Good evening and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Gian, and here's some of the top stories we have for you tonight. A murder suspect is arrested and he's 18 years old. The wellness fair kicks off at Canagata. And are you ready for some baseball? These stories and more are up next on News Channel 8. <laughs> Our top story tonight, an 18-year-old murder suspect is in custody on St. Thomas. News Channel 8's West Small has that story and the story of a cold case making progress. Thanks a lot, Jerome. Not much to report on on crime. Thank God we were good in St. Thomas and St. John last night and over here on St. Croix. I did make a mistake yesterday. I said we only had three homicides in our territory. Sadly, I was wrong by two. We've had four homicides in St. Thomas and we've had one on St. Croix. I want to tell you about that. I'll get back to the homicides in a second. We have made progress in a cold case. It happened on April 5th, 2009. A young man, 39-year-old, was shot in hospital ground. EMTs found him unresponsive on a basketball court. His name was Cedric Rouse. Well, we have a suspect. They tracked him down, and he's getting off the plane in a few hours at Surly King Airport just talking to Melody. Don't have that suspect's name right now. But it is good that the homicide detectives have closed that case. Remember, there is no statute of limitations when it comes to murder. We also have another arrest. And look at the age of this young man, 18 years old, Siobhan Lake, that for killing Rashili Ja in Smith Bay. Here's Melody Rames with more. Police on St. Thomas arrested 18-year-old Chavon R. Lake and charged him with murder in the first degree in connection with the January 13th shooting death of 29-year-old Rochelle Ja. Lake was also charged with possession of an unlicensed firearm, use of a firearm during the commission of a crime of violence, reckless endangerment, and failure to report ammunition. Lake was arrested at about 1.40 p.m. on Thursday, January 20th, by members of the Major Crime Unit based on an arrest warrant detectives requested from the Superior Court of the Virgin Islands. The warrant was signed by Judge Brenda Holler. The victim, Rochelle Ja, was shot to death at about 11 a.m. on Thursday, January 13th, in a state Smith Bay. The victim was transported by private vehicle to the Roy Lester Schneider Regional Medical Center, where he later died from his injuries. Lake was held on a $300,000 bail, which he was unable to post and remanded to the custody of the Bureau of Corrections, pending his advisor rights hearing. Thanks a lot, Melody. With that, please be safe, please treat each other well, and don't drink and drive. Have a great weekend. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. Thanks, Wes. And last night, the St. Croix Chamber of Commerce held their after-hours convention at the Innovative Building. I got the opportunity to sneak in, and here's some highlights with the Vice President of Sales. We are at the Innovative Building today with a company that is truly innovative. I'm here with Michael Swallow, and he's the Senior Vice President of Sales. Tell us a little bit about this big event we're having here today. Why are we all here gathered? Hey, well, thanks for having us um, and for joining us tonight. We are celebrating Chambers After Hours with the Chamber of Commerce here on St. Croix, and uh, we were happy to be able to introduce our new retail store that you see in the background um, to the business community here in St. Croix. The new retail store in the background, what we're looking at here is, uh, um, it looks like a new uh, phone store. Is this the launching of the Galaxy program, the Galaxy phone program? Uh, Galaxy is certainly a part of it. So it's one of our featured phones. We have a new wireless platform that we've just launched with a whole array of phones, uh, 3G coverage all over the territory, um, 19 cents for 19 islands. And we're also, if you can bid us as a store, as you'll see uh, we're launching high definition programming as well as DVRs. And we've got a, a great gra a group of people here tonight celebrating this big event. Got a lot of great food going on here. And uh, this is a Chamber After Hours event. For a lot of people that don't know, what exactly is a Chamber After Hours event? So the Chamber of Commerce has partnered with some of its members, like Innovative, to host just an after hours event, after work hours, to get some of their members involved in networking and just enjoying one another's company and encourage membership drives. So this was their effort in doing it, and we were happy to host it. And it's uh, truly nice to be here this evening at the Innovative Building, seeing this big launch of all of these uh, affairs coming here. Michael D. Swallow, thanks for having Absolutely. us with us, seeing us being here today Pleasure. at the Innovative Building. I'm Jerome Gian.
Keeping healthy and feeling well is the theme for this weekend's annual fitness fair at the D.C. Canagata Ballpark Pavilion. News Channel 8's Wes Small is with Housing, Parks, and Recreation Commissioner St. Clair Williams. Thank God it's Friday. Here with Commissioner St. Clair Williams of Housing, Parks, and Recreation. And uh, first, we are going to talk about the, the wellness um, fair. It's an annual fair right behind us here. And it starts off tonight, Commissioner, what, around 5 or 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock in the evening. And then we got that. Are you got your track shoes on? You're going to take place in the 5 a.m. We walk? walk at 5.30 in the morning, and we'll be walking from Bassin Triangle up here to the uh, Multipurpose Recreation Center. Wonderful. But it's, it's, it's a great opportunity, you know, because, you know, every year, basically, we all make New Year's resolution. And, of course, the things that we always say we're going to exercise more regularly, we're going to eat more healthy, and, and so forth. And, but we need encouragement to do that. And so what is going to happen is that this second annual wellness festival provides that opportunity for us because what's going to happen on Friday this evening, uh, we'll be starting out uh, where we'll be having a panel discussion in terms of uh, paving the way for longevity and, and eating healthier and so forth. So, uh, you know, this provides an opportunity to help us in such a way that even though you exercise, you also have to be able to eat properly. Mm. And this is going to provide us the opportunity for that. Now, on the following day, we will be having vendors that will be here. There will be also uh, groups and individuals that will be doing pressure uh, testing, telling you about diabetes. Mm -hmm. There will even be HIV testing wow. also will be taking place here. And then there will be vendors that will be selling, you know, holistic health products uh, uh, that you, would help you, you know, in your endeavor as you try to be more healthier. You know, this is great because this is going to be the place, D.C. Canagata, because as the camera pans over that way, look at that. Uh, that's going to be for Elmo Plaskett East. And a little, in a few minutes in sports, you're going to hear me talk to the representatives there, St. Clair. This is the time to big up your maintenance people, all right, because they've been nonstop over here. And I just was inside checking with the people. Everything's ready for in there. So let's, let's go back then. Let's rewind. This is where you can get up to date on your nutrition, your diabetes check, your HIV screening, your blood pressure check. I was looking down for the last 48 hours and I was dizzy. People were telling me, Wes, you need to get checked. Sure enough, I want to thank Dr. Williams' son in the chiropractic department at Barron Spot near Channel 8. I got hooked up 160 over 82. I'm on high blood pressure medicine, but I'm not living right. Too much salt, not eating the right things. I think I'm going to be one of your first Please customers do. in here. <laughs> St. Clair, thank Very you. Good. I want to say you're one of the best commissioners housing, parks, and recreation ever had. The little guys and the little women say you're the best, man. The public says it. And now, look, we're ready to play baseball and get everything checked. D.C. Canagata is going to be the place for this weekend. St. Clair Williams, okay. one of the best commissioners that this reporter has ever had to deal with. At D.C. Canagata, it's all about you and your fitness and your wellness. Don't be like me, 160 over 82, please. I'm a stroke waiting to happen. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. And when we come back from this break, your Caribbean report, as well as Third World, makes a comeback. Stay with us.